Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about depth first search uh, in a binary tree. Uh, depth first search is also in short called DFS and it's also called a depth first traversal. So <clears throat> as the name suggests, depth first, that means first we go to the depth and then we come back so uh, for example let's say if this is a, this is our binary tree and this is our root and we'll we'll start from root so first um, <clears throat> we go to the depth on the left side we can go in either direction both are uh, both are fine so here we'll go in the left direction so one two four and now here it's null so we cannot go further so we'll come back and from here we'll go to the depth so that is five and then come back come back go to the right side three six and then seven and then come back and the traversal would be completed so our traversal would be here one two, four, five, three, six, seven. So this is our <coughs> uh, DFS for this uh, given binary tree. So uh, <coughs> how do we do that? Um, so whenever we talk about DFS, whether it's a binary tree or a graph, uh, or or a 2d matrix we always use a stack so we know what stack is uh, stack follows uh, last in first out that means the last element goes into the stack comes out first so um, let's walk through this example um, so let's say we have this a stack, okay? This our stack, and uh, we'll start the DFS from the root. So first, we'll add one to the stack, right? And then um, we pop the element uh, one. That's the only element. So when we pop the one will be popped out so one and now we'll add the children of one to the stack so we'll add three and then we'll add two so we'll add three we'll add two okay so now <clears throat> this is already gone okay so now when we pop uh, from the stack it would be two so we'll print two and add the children of two, which is four and five. So five and four to the stack. And this is gone. Now, <clears throat> next time we pop, we'll pop four. And since four doesn't have any child, we'll not add anything. So we'll next we'll pop five, add five. Five doesn't have any child, um, so we'll not add anything. So now when we pop, the three will be popped out. So there's three, and then we'll add the child of three, which is six and seven. So six and seven, the six. So <clears throat> when we pop, uh, six will be popped out. We'll add six to a result. Six has no child, we'll not add anything, and then we'll pop seven. Add seven, add nothing. So at this point, uh, we don't have uh, any other nodes to traverse, and stack is empty. That means our DFS is completed. So this is our 
uh, DFS uh, for this binary tree. Depth first search uh, traversal in a binary tree. So the approach is quite simple. You stack first add the root to the stack, pop out the element from the stack, add its right and left children um, to the stack, pop out the element, print, print it and add its children, repeat the above two steps until the stack is empty. So this is the same example which we, which we just saw. And this is, <coughs> uh, this is our stack and this is we print one and then add two and three and then print two and so on this is the same example so let's uh, look at the code so um, we have our uh, tree node it's data left and right pretty standard node for a tree and then um, and then um, we have the same tree here, root is one, left child is two, and right child is three, four, five, six, seven. So first we'll initialize the stack. So right now the stack is empty. Then we add the root to the stack. Now we do these steps until the stack is empty. So we take out the pop. So for the first time, it would be the root, right? And then we check if the child, if the right child is not null, add it to the stack. If the left child is not null, add it to the stack. And then print the element itself. Okay. So when this is completed, we'll have our uh, DFS. So now we can uh, go ahead and run the code. So one, two, four, five, three, six, seven. Yeah, this looks correct. I didn't log in. Uh, let me log in. Yeah. So, yeah, let me run this code. Yeah, so one, two, four, five, three, six, seven. One, two, four, five, three, six, seven. Yeah, so, yeah, this is the, this is the DFS. Uh, and in upcoming videos, uh, we have already posted a video for tree traversals. I'll put the link in the description where we'll see the in-order, pre-order, and post-order traversals uh, in a in a binary tree. And today we saw the depth, uh, DFS in a binary tree, and and we'll discuss about the BFS. BFS so that is breadth first search. So in that we right now we are going in depths and in DF BFS we go in the breadth like this. So we'll discuss that in in our next video. And um, yeah. Now visit our website. We can mark this um, problem is completed. Yeah. Yeah, visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interesting problems. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.